Okay, y'all. So, hold on. Let me... Let me... Get my air on. Okay. So, one of the things that... Um, as I had mentioned, is that they stripped away the word single. The gracious Lord Jesus, he said, single. If thine eye be single. And they replaced single with healthy. Now, I want you to keep in mind, for all you prophets and prophetess and all you people that have been following these liars... So, for years now, you so-called prophets and prophetess have been saying that you have been hearing. They can go back to, to your Facebook, to your Instagram, through everything that you've ever posted. And you have made the statement that you hear from God every day. Every day you've said that. Now, me being in the holy way having obeyed Acts 2.38 and sitting under holy teaching, I know the voice of God. None of what you're saying is God talking. That's the devil talking. That's the devil seducing you with money, with fornication, with adultery, whatever other perversion that you're into. You whores seducing you I'm pretty sure you got some old perverted men that are like, here, let me cash out you this to your ministry, whore. Right? Let me tell you something. Holy women of God, we don't accept money from men. I've had men offer me a lot of stuff in this journey. The devil send men my way to offer me money and you know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. But you whores out there, under the guise of having a ministry, under the guise of being a prophetess, oh, you suck it up, you eat it up. Because you're not of God, that's why. Nevertheless, you guys have said that you've been hearing from God. And you people have sat here just egging them on. Oh, lie to me, lie to me. Tell me about my ordained husband. Tell me about my prophetic spouse. Tell me about my kingdom wife. Tell me lies, prophet. Lie to me. And all that time as you guys been sitting there lying because you hate God's word, you hate God's order, and you don't lie to me, prophetess. This is you guys. Lie to me, prophets. Don't tell me to obey Acts 2.38. That's not what I want. Just like God said you would. Don't tell me about my sin, prophetess. You lie to me. You tell me that I'm chosen. Tell me I'm beloved. I'm a child of God. Tell me that God is going to give me strength to fly. And that's what they do. And now that I just mentioned that, I'm going to have to discuss something else. <laughs> Where's my other pen at? Because I've been doing some editing. So I have my, my stylus and then I have my other one. But I'm glad that I just mentioned that. Um, so nevertheless, while you guys have been sitting there sucking that up. Um, underneath your nose, the laws have been changed. Because God is not with you. You couldn't see the bigger picture. One more time. This is about identifying who is of God and who is not. Because the holy people of God, some of us, if we're not gone to the grave, then he's going to call us from the clouds. Those that he perfects. So listen to me. When anybody ever tells you, I'm not perfect nobody's perfect that's a lie we go to scripture and if God says that we can be perfect then I believe that if he's going to finish the work that he started in us to perfection I believe that so don't come to me with nobody's perfect when you hear somebody say nobody's perfect what they're saying is I want my sin I want to keep my sin my perversion, my adultery, my fornication. Nobody's perfect. I want to keep my profanity. I want to be able to do all of these vile things because nobody's perfect. 
That's what a sinner says. But I believe what God says. When he says, be ye perfect, and then he gives instruction on how we get to there, I believe that. So nevertheless, you liars been sitting here saying you've been hearing the voice of God, correct? Let's say, for example, 2020. I'm sure I can go onto YouTube and find some of you that, that joined in 2020. And every day you have said that you have been hearing from the voice of God. So let's go further because you guys have ignored the great God of heaven. You have ignored Acts 2.38. You refuse to shut your mouth and sit down and be taught. You refuse to, to uh, be obedient in order to obtain the Holy Ghost. You don't want none of it. You don't want your sin identified. You don't want none of it. And so because of that, you can't see the big picture. The only thing you can see is the immediate satisfaction of the flesh. And that's what these liars give you. Husband, wife, give me a kingdom husband. Give me a prophetic husband. Give me a ordained spouse. Give me money. Give me job. Give me promotion. Give me my lust of the flesh. Give me prosperity. Give me, but don't give me no sin. Don't you dare talk to me about sin, prophetess. Don't you mention that. And that's what they do, just like God in his word said they would. And so because you're not of God, you did not realize that they were putting in place, which is why they removed the word single and they replaced it with healthy. Single. A single eye, an eye to see one single God, one God, one single baptism, one Holy Ghost, one holy sacrifice, one God, one gospel, one church, one body of Christ. The devil said, get rid of that, get rid of that. We don't need anybody to be having one eye for God, no. No. Let them see two, three, four, five. Go to India and see however many thousands. Go to China and see however many gods they have. That's what we, that's what the devil wants them to see. So remove single. We don't need them to be having one eye for one God. Nope. We don't need them to be focused on one single God. No, no, no. Get rid of that. And while you're getting rid of that, also get rid of evil and replace it with bad. Now that word healthy, you guys have said that you have been hearing from God since you started your channel. Every single day you said you've heard the voice of God talking to you. Well, little Jimmy Joe has been having problems in school. Little Jimmy Joe tells us that Mrs. Jimmy Joe Little Jimmy Joe tells us that you call yourself a prophetess. Is that true? Tell us about this prophetess business. Then they on the phone. Go and get the psychiatrist. Go get the psychiatrist. Tell them to come in. We'd like to meet with you. Your HR department calls you in. We understand that you call yourself a prophetess. Is this your channel? says here that you hear the voice of God every day. Is that true? It looks like you, we scroll back, your oldest video was posted. You said that you were hearing the voice of God, that God talked to you and woke you up and told you to give a message. Is this true? Do you hear the voice of God? Well, we just want to make sure little Jimmy Joe is okay because we want to make sure that you're healthy and he's healthy. In fact, your Bible says that. Is that, in fact, your Bible says that you should be healthy. So are you hearing a voice from God? Have you been hearing this voice for the last, what year are we in, 2024? Have you been hearing this voice for the past 20, I mean, uh, for the past four years? Yes or no? Are you of God or are you not? Are, is God talking to you? You say here on your title, your channel, it says prophetess, 
Mrs. Jimmy Joe. Is that you, yes or no? And while you liars been up there, you, because you see, God gives the big picture to his people. But for all of you unawares, so you have been listening to a voice, correct? If you say yes, that you're hearing a voice, they can have you involuntarily committed because now you're displaying signs of schizophrenia. We can't allow that. Are you hearing a voice from God? Now, mind you, you told all the people for all these years that you are a prophetess sent by God. You told all the people all these years that you're a prophet sent by God, that God has been talking to you. We got years and years and years of you getting on YouTube or whatever social media platform, and you told the people that God sent you, that God talks to you, that you are a prophetess sent by God. And now that you're in your child's school, now that your HR department has called you into the office, now that the police department stumbled, pulled you over, stumbled across your channel, now they're asking you, are you hearing the voice of God, yes or no? If you say yes, you're going to be involuntarily committed. If you say no, then you've just confessed that you're a liar and you've blasphemed God. So which is it gonna be? Are you hearing the voice of God? Yes or no? Have you been hearing the voice of God since 2020? All these videos every day you say that God woke you up and God was talking to you all through the night. You say that you were you know, at work and, and God called you outside and God was talking to you and said, you know, this, that, and the other. So while you guys are eating up these lies, the devil was putting in place one more time. This thing is to narrow down who is of God and who is not. Here we are. I just picked a random state. This is for Texas. Even in cases where schizophrenia has not been diagnosed, voice hearing should be taken seriously. As recent research has suggested that voice hearers who are not suffering from a psychotic illness are twice as likely to take their own life as those in the general population. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, then let's go on to this one. Now, mind you, since 2020, you've said you've been hearing the voice of God. Okay. Only one criterion A symptom is required if delusions are bizarre or hallucinations consist of a voice keeping up a running commentary on the person's behavior or thoughts or two or more voices conversing with each other. Do you hear the voice of God? Yes or no? Okay, the warning signs. The warning signs are delusions and hallucinations. Remember, the voices do not operate alone, but rather in combination with all other experiences such as delusions, all of which appear to the sufferer at least to be acting in concert and taking them in one particular direction. 
For instance, the voice hearer may hear voices, which they then in turn believe are coming from God. Are you hearing God talking to you? Yes or no, prophetess? We have your YouTube channel here. It says you call yourself a uh, prophetess. You know, prophetess look like a prostitute. Are you hearing God's voice? We have these videos all dating all the way back these years. We can't allow little Jimmy Joe to be in that type of environment. That's not healthy. This voice of God may ask you to go and sacrifice little Jimmy Joe. Your husband's already signed the papers, and I think he's already signing papers for a divorce. For a divorce, so. Um, this combination of delusions and hallucinations makes the voice much more influential. This, in re this is reinforced if, as in many cases, the sufferer has a religious or a supernatural structure to their delusions as this will play an important part in legitimizing the messages coming from the voices. Are you hearing from God, yes or no? And then this one, um, let me see, hold on, let me see. Okay. There was one that was very significant because they, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Basically, what they were saying was that uh, if, the vo if the person has been hearing the voices for six months or more, some of you prophets and prophetess, your channel been up since 2020 and every single day you've posted and said you've heard from God. So now that I've mentioned the reason why the devil is changing the verbiage, number one, to eliminate the sin. There's no separation. So let me get into that. 